good afternoon everybody it is actually not even noon today but I came home from work because Sarah was feeling absolutely terrible with a really bad migraine and the thing is she can't take most of her normal medicine because of the IUI procedures and stuff thank you for your patience in yesterday's vlog we don't know what time that's going to come up but we'll get it up eventually but that's not a concern but see how bright these windows are with them covered I came home because Sarah was sleeping or laying on the ground in the bathroom. Look at this Jimmy rig I did. It's not nothing fancy, but you can see that's how much light comes in with the blinds on. And so hopefully Sarah can get some sleep in here on our bed because she has not had a migraine this bad in a long time or ever. Want to say hi? It's not good, guys. No. So I went and got some, some medicine that she can have. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully it's strong enough to help. And some chicken noodle soup. And I want to make sure Eve doesn't make a noise. And I have to <laughs> I want to finish the day working from home. Thanks. Maybe get the vlog up. I don't know. If not, I'll get it up tonight. Yeah. It's you, hard like You feeling anyways. good is the most important. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> I haven't gotten sick, Ramon. I didn't say that. In a long day, I yeah. guess. That's why I was debating on like coming home or not from work because she's like, I don't feel good, but she gets migraines all the time, but we have like regimens that she can do. A lot of those she can't do because of the medicine she's on and everything. They don't want her to react and everything. So she texted me, she's like, well, I just got sick. And I'm like, that I don't think is happy. You've not gotten sick from a migraine since we've been together, which has been ten, going on 10 years. So I was like, I'm coming home. Cause she was like, man, I can grab medicine, man this like I'll be okay don't leave work I'm, I'm coming home and just so you know my friend Willie the second I sent the email to Willie and Sarah Willie was like dude why would you even send the email just leave <laughs> then go home take care of your wife so it is a little after five o'clock I signed off for the day from work um, so Sarah's still sleeping she woke up a little bit to go take a little bit more medicine uh, have a quick bite to eat but she's still sleeping the puppy is sleeping and I'm actually going to sign on now to edit today's vlog, so hopefully I can get it up fairly quickly. I think I remember, kind of remember what we did yesterday, and I think the lighting right here is great. This is all natural, but partly covered. Um, i trying to remember what we did yesterday. I think it was all pretty cut, so hopefully I can get a good edit done quickly for all of you. I've been getting a lot of messages on Twitter and Facebook and stuff, so thank you for all those well wishes for Sarah. It means a lot to us. I'm sure it'll mean a lot to her when she wakes up, but I don't think she's seen any of those, so I'm gonna get to it. So it is Katie's birthday. There's Sarah. She's feeling better a little bit. And we got Katie and Dustin, they were worried about her all day. I really was. Yeah. And there's Aurora. I just wanted to say, thanks everybody for the birthday wishes. I had a really great day. I've been feeling nauseous all day. It's my love. Are you pregnant, Dustin? Tell Dustin in the comments. I could be. Dustin's pregnant. Ooh, change of lighting and scenery. I'm in the car. It is 10.40 p.m. Um, it's hours later as you can tell this vlog is not gonna there's not gonna be much to this vlog but guess what guys like we Sarah was sick and she was she was sick bad like with the headache and she's never been able to not use her typical set of tools to fight the migraine so but she's feeling much better you'll see her in just a minute when I go home but I'm actually at, at McDonald's to told her you know what you need a McFlurry so I'm out here to get my wife a McFlurry because she, her body needs it, she, her body deserves it after the fight that it's put up today with that terrible migraine she had. I think I might get myself a McFlurry too. I just might. Can you see the smoke? <laughs> there must be something in the bottom. <laughs> Who is the culprit? <laughs> we have... Something delicious was cooked in the oven the other day. Yeah. So I'm feeling better, not 100%, but much better than earlier. Enough to eat McFlurries. <laughs> Eve is just excited that Peter is home because he got us some treats. 
They were super healthy, and the funny thing is, is the car in front of me had four Run Disney magnets on the car, so I was like, same. So it's fine, I'm doing the Gobi Challenge, we're getting McDonald's at almost 11 o'clock at night. We did not realize, Matt was like, what time is that? I was like, I literally thought it was 8.30. You've been sleeping all day though, so it's okay. Luckily I have no problem sleeping. I cannot tell you enough the amount of anxiety I have. I'm just watching the vlog. When I wa when I edit the vlog and Sarah watches it, because like, I don't, as you guys know, like I don't watch the vlog typically. I like skim through it when it goes over at work sometimes, like listen to it, but I don't always watch it. Oh, sorry Eve, she got mad at me for stopping to pet her. But Sarah, since she's been awake, has been like watching the vlog in pieces and I'm just like, I feel like, you know like in, in elementary school when you take a test, like a spelling test or multiple choice and you hit, or a math test and you give it to your teacher and they like grade it in front of you? <laughs> That's what I feel is happening right now. Look at how expressive your eyebrows are. I'm being look at this hair. My test my test is being graded in front of me. Look at we look like we're college homeless kids right now with these sheets <laughs> behind us. <laughs> at least our bed's not on the floor anymore. <laughs> our mattress rather. Uh, we're watching the Santa Claus, so if you can hear the uh, the menu that is ominously repeating all night. Because there's not much to our vlog today. But we've that's been life. getting well, we've been getting a couple of questions lately about our Disney college program with like applications going out and like it being the anniversary of our college program starting. So we're gonna tell you a little bit about our Disney. Some of it's gonna program. be quick, some of it's gonna be not as quick. I'm gonna start off quick because I'm a quick talker. Our friend Jill Danzel, she's married to James, she's in the vlog, she caused us to do the Disney college program. <laughs> she came home after doing hers and said, You pointed to me and Sarah in her family's sub basement. You guys should do the Disney college program. You're like perfect for it. Fast forward a month, I didn't like my classes, thought about it, we researched it. I called Sarah and she was in school, I was in a different school. I said, don't think about this right now, just go online, the application's almost due. Just fill out the application, we'll talk about doing it later. Yeah, it was our freshman year. Um, so a lot of people, you can apply for the Disney College program as long as you are enrolled in a school. Any age. Any age. You can be 95 years old. As long as you're enrolled in a school while you apply. So that means that you can do the Disney College program after you graduate. We just decided to do it mid college education because we Early. were 19 and we were like let's just do this well i actually got accepted first <laughs> by three weeks by three weeks no it was like a week or something a week and a half i think it was 10 so days so we were worried you know waiting everyone always asks did you guys meet working at disney we did not we went to junior high together we started dating our junior year of high school and, and we, we went down to the college program to together down to the college program together um my roommates i found online on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I'm so happy we got that on film. Sarah, can you save this part to the desktop? Yeah. And send this, this to me. This is the thumbnail. Can you send this to me when you in my phone so I can keep it forever? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now that that preciousness happened, that um, made our vlog. This vlog is going to be six minutes long, and it's going to be that was the greatest thing ever. Um. Peter went and he only had found his one roommate, Trevor, his actual roommate, and he did not, he met his apartment mates. So the other four we did random. Yeah. And one I, still lives with me. <laughs> one still lives with us. We hit it off with Peter's random roommates, my roommates, not so much, except for Chelsea. Chelsea and I actually shared the same room. Um, so that just goes to show you don't always need to find your roommates before you go down. Um, I don't think the application process is the same, so we don't really It's have, totally different. We don't have much advice on that except for be yourself, answer honestly. Smile. smile. If you get to the phone interview, yeah. smile during it. Uh, don't tell them you will do anything and then because you might end up getting something that you might not want. Yeah, be, um, they, so they be like honest. more assertive. They more like there's yeah. so many roles out there that they're like just let us mind. yeah, just let us know what you what you want to do. I told them I would do anything, and then when they heard that I was uh, working at Subway for three years, they're like, huh, you're going into fast food. Yeah. Whereas me, I worked like sales, um, like ticket sales at my college, so I got put in merchandise. Not to say you'll necessarily do what you have experience in. This is a super nice blanket that's the American flag made of Mickey heads. That was from that's Chelsea. That's from Epcot. From Chelsea? Yeah, Chelsea Thanks, got us Chelsea. that for our wedding. Um, Thank you so much. So yeah, my role was merchandise in Frontierland. So my favorite part of it was selling Splash Mountain photos. It was so fun to people like come off, are so excited. Back then we had to like write down the number of your photo and not just tap your magic man. Um, and we printed a lot more photos back then too. 
I did a quick survey. I said Future World Electric Umbrella in Epcot. It was awesome. I did a lot of deep fryers. Did a lot of the Rico yeah. machine, which was a broiling burger machine. I did a lot of uh, heart of house. Like I didn't see a lot of guest stuff, but I, I probably worked like. 10 shifts where I was like busing or at the registers. I didn't get as much guest interaction, but Eve's I still made the magic. That's Eve getting comfortable. Oh, we, we lived in Patterson. It was a little bit more expensive. It's the more new um, apartment complex at the time. Um, but we both lived with five other people. Wow. So it was five less. years old, so we were like, it's the newer one because yeah. it's five years old only. Now it's 13 or 12 years old now. Yeah. And lastly, we were there during the fall. We did not do Advantage, so it was just from August to January. Um, so we actually didn't go home at all, which is much different than now. <laughs> um, but my family came down for Thanksgiving, and then our friends had like a nice Christmas day all together. That was tough to didn't not be home. Parents? Yeah, we we went to Cape May Cafe for, for Christmas dinner. Yeah, for Christmas dinner with them. So that's our little college program in a nutshell. We'll give you more you, info here yeah. and there. If you have any questions or like specific things that you are um, wondering about, things have changed a lot. So we can give you as much info as we can. If you've been to Hot Dog on a Stick in uh, Santa, Monica. Santa Monica, let us know. Our friend Lauren told us about it and we, did, we had to go there on a honeymoon. Yeah, it's just, if you're looking at the pier, it's just to the left. It's like right across from Mus Muscle Beach. Thank you everybody for your well wishes on yeah, Facebook and that Twitter. Was really nice. Super nice. We had like Thanks an overwhelmingly a lot of you. messages from all of you telling us that we hope Sarah gets better soon. So. I'm still like my head still hurts. You're probably going to have like a sore, like an ache yeah. tomorrow. Even already in my neck. So it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Look at this. Look at this crazy. Good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.